but every stream so far I've just like barely made it into my seat um and I just finished oh wow the forehead is reflecting light love that for me I'm squeaky clean <laughs> um yeah I literally just finished eating like a bunch of chicken nuggets so give me a second okay all right. <laughs> Ugh. I went to the library today. Applied to a, a lot of companies in hopes of getting a job. Received one rejection as well. So that's great. That's fun. Love that for me. Um, I don't really have anything else today. Um, but I hope you guys are doing well. Oh, that's right. That's right. We've started another goal because, hold on, eh, 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 eh. there we are. <laughs> it's so hard because it's reverse mirrored. Um, <laughs> like this is my left. Um, but we are now at 40 followers, which means we're 10 away from being um, an affiliate. And that means that being an affiliate, I have found out that I need to have 12 emotes ready. Um, so over the next few weeks, as we slowly get closer to that 50 mark, I will be putting them in my Discord channel for people to vote on, like, what kind of concepts they want, what kind of, like, hello, or any sorts of little cute emotes that I can possibly come up with. Um, but I will be drawing them all and animating them all myself. So that will be fun. I definitely won't be like a ton of work or anything that I'm really scared of, but if I do it and I manage to pull it off, I'll be really proud of myself. So that's what's keeping me going. But I hope you guys had a really great Tuesday night. I know I did, especially with us playing Tavern Talk. Um, I'm ready to get back into it. And I hope you are too. Um, I will take another sip because I'm still very full of chicken nuggets. But hi, hello, how are you? <laughs> okay. Let's get into it. I'll switch over to desktop.gaming and we will begin. Look at it, it's blue now because I switched channel colors to match my new banner on my main page. And so now this is the, the color of my goals. It's so cute. I kind of like this blue better than the pink. Unless it's hard to read, then maybe, maybe not. I don't know. I like blue a lot better, personally. Anyway. Now let me turn up the desktop audio just a little bit. I love it. I love the music. I really do. Oh, shit. Okay. Um, I believe... Okay, so it's auto-saving at the end of every night. I think that works for moi. We'll see if I can remember what voices I used yesterday. <laughs> but I doubt it. I also don't have my nice little soothing throat tea from last time. It is a concern, it is a worry. <coughs> They're back. Good morning. Good morning, Millie. Good morning, Blaze. What have you both been up to today? Oh, you know, dilly dallying and such. I love her so much. I was not too deep down. He was. It goes well with the brooding. Sounds like a wonderful morning. Can I offer you both something to drink in these early hours? Yes, please. Can you make me something smart and sparkly? Can do. 
smart and sparkly. Oh, just pure intelligence. Okay. I think that's a, a sparkling nebula. There we go. Classic, classic. Here we go. And that's it. <laughs> Super easy. I do wish it was like a little bit more complicated, but I understand what they're kind of going for. A fresh brew of smart sparkles. Thank you. This is just the right amount of sparkle. Happy to hear that. Blaze, what can I get you? Nothing. <laughs> All right. So, has the cape found its way back home yet? Yes. The vampire was thankful, if melancholic. It seems to have awakened memories of old woe. He seemed pretty excited to me. He should be. It, feel, it fits him well. Almost like it was made for him. <laughs> it was very interesting to see a vampire in person. His fangs were shorter than I thought they would be. I expected to be them to be the size of a colossal saber-toothed tiger's fang. They were much tinier. A common misconception. Where did you find him? At the local Gaia temple. He got split in the middle by a fallen star. Oh gosh. That sounds morbidly interesting. It was. I overheard some priests say that they are thinking about rebuilding the temple around it because it looks kind of cold. And people like distinct temples. They do. The vampire was traveling with a really nice dwarf and a holy woman of Cassiopeia. They were asking around to see if the priests knew anything about the star ring. Did they? No. Well, did they? <laughs> Different inflection. It's hard to read inflections. No, I could have told them that two days ago. But while we were sneaking around and listening in, we overheard the strangest conversation. Turns out Alethea, that's the cleric's name, found out that one of the priests was actually a wobbling ooze in disguise. Oh, scandalous. I know, right? But in the end, it was all okay. The others forgave him and he promised to try and become a real priest. <laughs> Apparently, he really loves the humidity in the temple. They all hugged and everything. It was very sweet. I was really happy. You could see that from the shadows. Oh, so I guess if we chose to give, um, oh gosh, the, the, the cleric of Cassiopeia. I don't know why I remember Cassiopeia, but not her name. Um, if we gave her anything other than charisma, maybe she would have killed the slime. Leave? He and the mysterious and quiet blaze. He's my new associate such thing. It's great to see you two working together so closely. You make a great duo. They really do. I agree. We are not a duo. Thank you. How do you find the right moment to give Kyle his cape? Between all of those heightened emotions. We didn't. She got caught. I thought one of the pillars would be big enough to hide behind, but it wasn't. It wasn't a pillar. It was a tall vase. I felt very well hidden when Alethea suddenly asked me if I wanted to stop hiding now. She was paying a lot of attention. I think she noticed me from the very beginning. She's so cool and smart. Did you ask her about her investigation? I did, but she said it was too early to share any insights. Even when I kept asking, she wouldn't budge. So I asked Master, Master Smith Frostgrip to tell me more about the temple's architecture instead. Did you know that its altar was built from a thousand-year-old oak? I didn't. That's fascinating. It is. She also told me I have to work on my stealth, that being small isn't going to be good enough. Isn't going to be enough. <laughs> I think she knows from experience. Better not tell her that. Better not. So are you going to work on it? Yes. Blaze is going to show me the ropes. Is he now? 
have to. She'll get herself killed otherwise. That's a very dramatic way to look at things. But also very nice of you. So, would you say your investigation was a success? Hmm, kinda. We got to see how clueless the other investigators are and return the cape to Mr. Vampire. We didn't find out anything new about the stars. And I didn't even get to see any monsters. I was hoping maybe some would have fallen from the Astral Sea and I could have studied them. A dangerous, if very exciting dream. Mostly a foolish one. You think so? Have you met monster uh, monsters before? What kinds? Do you have favorites? What were the first ones you ever, you ever met? Did they try to eat you or be your friend? Of course, I've encountered, encountered monsters before. They've been a part of my life for many, many years. The shadows are full of them. What? Really? That's scary. Of course it is. So the first monsters you ever saw were shadow monsters? No. They were much worse than that. <laughs> Just dot dot. What is it? Can I have a drink after all? The words aren't flowing. Easily. Of course. Same as last time. Yes. Let's see if I can find something to sweetly- something sweetly charismatic. I believe a sunny breeze is what we got him last time. Oh, oh, that's right. Hmm. I think it's... I We can do either of this, but I believe we put in the feather the last time. There we go. <sighs> so much fun. A drink. Just for you. Aw, his cute little face! Thanks. How is it? Fine. That means it's perfect. <laughs> so, where was I? Oh, right. Shadow monsters. Back when I was younger, I had just joined the Shadow Banes and was eager to prove myself. It said that there are great riches far in the depths of the Great Gravel Mac, a dangerous mountain range in Easter Fasoa. Hidden treasure troves full of precious gems and gold, and I owed some debts. Hoping to find some jewels, I made my way there to the darkest of its crevices. Guarding its depths were creatures no one would ever choose to face. Leaf stalkers right from the twilight chasm. Hideous creatures that have every right to be associated with the nightmare realm. They typically feed on rocks and gemstones, but they seem to think bones have the same general consistency. I wasn't able to harm them with my mortal weapons, so I distracted them with some of the gems I had managed to pocket earlier. It was a close call. I will never forget their twisted antlers and beak-like snouts. They sound kind of cute. <laughs> they were not cute. If you say so, maybe one day I'll encounter some. Pray you never will. Ooh, rumor! Oh, okay. Deep within the grapple map, high, long lost treasures and terrifying bleak stalkers. Though the verdict is still out on their cu cuteness level. Ugh. Eventually we'll get some more information. I think we'll probably get more information from Fable about the, the Mary Morgan. But 
Who knows? No thanks. In keep, hand me a drink, will ya? Coming right up, Lynn. Any preferences? The usual. Something strong and powerful? Exactly. I love Lynn. Order. I believe it's Southern Brawler. I want more drinks. Uh, a drink. You have a messed up definition of strong. Strength lies in the eyes of the beholder. Yeah, and yours need a prescription. Say, innkeep, you got room in your neat little book full of- did I give her the wrong drink? No, that's strength. This is defense. Right? I hope I didn't fuck that up. Should I have given her something else, like with a frozen pine cone or a phoenix chili? You got room in your neat little book full of recipes for one more drink? Sure, got one for me. You bet, it's what my baba used to drink back in the day. My adventure reminded me of it. Aw. Uh -huh. We have a new- uh, just as I was like, ooh, I want a new drink. There we go. This one's great. Sailor's courage gives even the driest landlubber the quality of a good sailor, a lot of strength, a dash of defense, a shot of charisma, and the inability to know fear. Oh, because there's low intelligence. <laughs> a perfect all-rounder. Well, almost. Who needs common sense anyway? Spinach not included. <laughs> oh, because it's, it's like Popeye. Thank you, Lynn. So, since you're here in my tavern unharmed and in somewhat good spirits, I'm guessing you survived your encounter with the Wyvern Chimera? I did, obviously. Congratulations! You encountered a Chimera? Sure did. Live to tell the tale, too. You were the Chimera. Both. Oh. Cool. Are you a beast slayer? I am, though this time no beast was slain. I'm Carolyn. You? Oh my god, they're gonna be friends. They're friends because they're fellow beast people. Oh, I love them. Nelly, the greatest detective in the whole wide world. And this is my assistant. Assistant? <laughs> Your assistant got a name? Malachite. I see. So, Melly, you're interested in chimeras? I'm interested in everything, chimeras especially. Hmm. If you like, I'll tell you. That sneaky innkeep and your punk and crime over there, how I outsmarted one. Yes, please. I would love that. <laughs> oh, his name switched to Malachite. Well, alright. Strap in tight, then. Our friendly innkeeper here sent me on a quest to collect some saliva from the Wyvern, Wyvern Chimera in the Quag Mangrove. It's the key ingredient for vampire sunscreen. That makes sense. The issue is the Marshlands in the Chimera's oh, the Marshlands the Chimera's home turf. There's no way I could outfight it in its own domain. So I went the route of trickery. My Baba always said that all the Chimeras she encountered enjoyed some good subterfuge. I ain't really the brainy type, but I thought even if I failed it might be entertained enough to help me anyhow. Needed to pick a clever approach, of course, so I did the only reasonable thing to do in this situation. I talked to a mouse. A mouse? A mouse, found one local to the marshland, offered him a bunch of cheese if he agreed to help me out. Was pretty easy to convince. Why a mouse? Everyone knows chimeras are afraid of mice, dummy. 
Exactly. I thought if it was scared, it might use its three brains less. <laughs> right, because it has three heads. <laughs> so I dressed the mouse up in the best wizard regalia I could find and made myself invisible. You can do that. Not usually, but the innkeep strings come in hand come with great perks. They do indeed, though I do not recall granting you invisibility. Yeah, invisibility might be too strong a word. But with the wits I got from your drink, I remembered something. Chimeras have a hard time discerning between different shades of green. Ooh, I think I know where this is going. Got quite the hand in camouflage, so I figured I'd put it to good, good, good use. I gathered some underbrush, sticks, and leaves, and made some glue from tree resin and spit. Oh, gross. Spit? Everything holds together better with spit. Oh, gross. Let me jot that down. No, Melly, don't jot that down. Oh, we're kind of like over her face. Maybe I'll make myself a little tinier here. myself a little smaller or no nah, even if I put myself in the lower corner then okay well you can see her a little bit better there we go <laughs> we're so small now sure thing kiddo so I put it all together into a cloak of camouflage put some mud on my face and it's ready to go so dressed up in camouflage the mouse and I unseen approached the chimera it was resting near a muddy stream, and two of its heads were in deep discussion about the sanctity of ca oh, canon compliance. <laughs> the sanctity of canon compliance. <laughs> what kind of heads did it have, besides the dragon one, obviously? Classic line and snake head combo. Of course, all of them heard us approaching. First, they seemed curious, but all of them, all three of them froze up when they saw the mouse. Little Thing looked mighty tall with his improvised wizard hat. I stayed right behind him, making his footsteps sound heavy. My camouflage seemed to work. The different shades of green and brown made me blend into the marshy landscape. From up close, I could see the chimera trying to hide its fear as the mouse drew nearer, so I started the show. The mouse, or me, same thing at that point, loudly announced that he was a great wizard. <laughs> and he had come to collect spell-casting ingredients for his plain switching spell. He was prepared to fight, but was willing to bargain if the Chimera valued its life. To underline his great power and everything, I even made him float on my invisible hand. <laughs> Lucky for me, the Chimera was more than ready to take up the offer. Though it did briefly argue with itself on whether fleeing was the better option. The snake wanted to fight, but only until the mouse growled, or I growled. One of the same, really. So the great mouse mage stated his conditions in no uncertain terms. One bucket of saliva and return, he would leave the chimera in peace forever. Helped a lot that he could summon the bucket out of thin air. Briefly lost my sanity when there was more in-creature in arguing, but finally the chimera agreed. In-creature. It filled the bucket with plenty of saliva within a disturbingly quick time frame. Happy to have any happy to have avoided any monumental violence, the mouse wizard and his bucket of valuable chimera saliva floated away. Promising that he would keep his honorable word. What an incredible ruse. Guess I got some of Baibaba's brains and charm after all. More than some, it seems. Let's not get too carried away. Once we were out of sight, I had to keep up my own end of the deal, of course. After getting out of my camouflage, I thanked the mouse and gave him the enormous amount of cheese I had promised him. Wouldn't that much cheese be way too heavy for a single mouse to carry? Turns out the mouse was actually a wizard after all. Had some sort of dimensional pocket he could store it all in. <laughs> Disappeared with the cheese and just left its ridiculous hat with me. Bid me farewell before I could ask him why he hadn't said something sooner about the whole wizard thing, you know. Ah, a typical mouse with a wizard hat, I see. I prefer the detectives, personally. Me too. Oh, mouse detectives. 
<laughs> so funny. Afterwards, I thought I was in the clear. When suddenly, I felt something breathing heavy right behind me. When I turned around, I was looking right into the scaly eyes of a wyvern chimera. Apparently, it had wanted to know where the wizard would take his leave, so that it could move to a more secure spot. Thought I was about to be smoke. But apparently, Baba was right. They do like a good bruise. So it wasn't mad? No, it was amused. Impressed, even. In return for making its weak, it let me live and let, left me with some strange words. Strange words? Stranger than talking to than a talking dragon head? I mean, that's kind of what dragon heads do, right? Not sure. Maybe they do typically speak in prophecies. Prophecies? That's what I... It, that's what it said it was given me. It said, Hope will fall and hope will rise. A hero with tether will tether its final thread, burying, burying the past and keeping the dead. Ooh. Sounded like a bunch of bullshit to me. <laughs> How blasphemous. Didn't say it wasn't real, but why they gotta make these things so cryptic? Ain't no one got time to interpret this kind of stuff. Maybe we should write that down. Yeah, we should write that down. Where's my little notes? Oh gosh. Okay, I'll write it on my phone. Then I'll, I'll, I'll doodle it later. Oh Jesus. There we go. All set and done. That's the thing with prophecies, no need to interpret them. You'll realize exactly what they mean soon enough. What hero do you think it was talking about? No clue. I bet it's you. I ain't no hero. I think you might be, Lynn. You know what would be very heroic of you? What? If you brought that saliva to Kyle the Vampire, I'm sure his happiness about finally being able to walk in the sun again will be extraordinary. Too lazy to go yourself? My, dom my domain is merely my tavern. You're much more likely to run into him. Hmm. Fine. Are we not able to leave our, our own tavern? I, I'm, like, suspicious that we're actually the tavern itself at this point. Fine. Might as well. Guess I owe that leech a thanks for providing me with a strange adventure. Did you have fun? Hmm. It was... Fun? Yes. Oh. Yes, I'll admit it. It was... Sorry, there's something happening downstairs. <laughs> Yes, I'll admit it. It was fun. Uh, just wish I could tell my Baba all about it. But you make a good stand-in, Inkeep. Thank you. I try. Now, any of you happen to know where I can find this vampire? Last saw him at the Gaia Temple. The priests might know where he went. I know where he wanted to go. I overheard him talking about it. Care to share? Hmm. I want to trade it. The information, I mean. For what? Can you teach me how to use a great sword? That's it? Sure thing. Right now? Is right now okay? I've got the time. It might take you more than one lesson, though. That's okay. I've also got time. It's a deal, then. I'll show you the basics and you tell me where to find the vampire. Yippee! Okay, one second. I'm going to take a, a quick break. Um, check out what's going on downstairs. Okay, well that was only mildly concerning. Okay. I think the sound's good again. Alright. <laughs> okay, we're back with Lynn. That is, if your assistant is alright with that. 
Don't care. Not my circus, not my monkey. <laughs> hmm. Okay, kiddo. Let's go. And keep can we use your front yard? Of course. Go wild. <laughs> Will do. Have fun. Are you coming too, Mal? No, I'll stay here and have another drink. Okay. You can join us later. I can't wait to learn how to fight. It'll be so helpful for future adventures. Innkeeper, do you have any quests I can go on after this? To practice my sword and stealth skills? Not yet, but I'm sure something will come in. Be patient. I promise I'll have a quest for you soon. Oh, I hope we do. I would love to see how they do. I can't wait. I'm going to destroy any challenge with wit, stealthiness, and giant swords. Haha. <laughs> I know you will. But first, I gotta practice. See you later. I like her ambition. I like her naivety. <laughs> Some would call it optimism. A waste of time. Delusions get you nowhere. You would know. Oh. Another drink, please. Same as before. Sweet and all. Coming right up. Just want some more charisma. I guess he secretly likes being able to talk well. probably hard if you can't usually get ah oh, shit I fucked up already I just worry that I don't have like an unlimited amount of these feathers but it seems like I might Now things work. Oh, it's all the way to the second? Okay, there we go. Right, because it's a minus. No sunny breeze. So cute. Some sweet optimism. My most pessimistic customer. <laughs> oh no, now we've told him that he's like our most pessimistic customer. Hmm, this is sweet enough to make me optimistic for future drinks. Wow, I'm proud of myself here. You should be. So, Malachite. Just leave me to my pondering. Got it. Let's... I think I'll put my back myself back to the right size real quick. There we go, all done. I think I actually might be bigger than before. Let's do that. Okay. <laughs> Always complicated. Oh, Fable. Hello, my love. Hi, Inkeep. Hi, Fable. I'm so happy to see the tavern looking healthy again. And you too. I'm sorry it took me so long to check in. That's alright. I hope the last two days weren't too hard on you. No, no. Not at all. I was just very busy. Isaac. He's so cute. A bunch of uh, Ashen Grove's trees got knocked over, and I spent a lot of time rescuing and leading group therapy sessions with the local wildlife. And of course I had to check in on all the nearby settlements to see if they needed help with any damage after all of that. Did Uncle Dragon make it? Yes! The werewolf settlement took a bit of a hit, but everyone made it out okay. Oh good. Mr. Dragon was making emergency soup when I arrived. I think- Jesus. I think he's a stress cooker. <laughs> he, 
He's a he he cooks under pressure, like a pressure cooker. Yeah, so many dogs, so many little dogs, so little time. Oh jeez, okay, but made that made it so much worse. Boy, oh boy. I like actually can't see. There we go. It's very nice of you to check in with everyone. I had to make sure everyone was okay. I used up a lot of my healing salves, but that's what they are there for. I'm not happy I had to use them, but I'm glad I was prepared. May I request something? Go ahead. Do you maybe have a drink in your repertoire that could assist someone in a situation like mine? Your drinks are powerful. I'd like something that would make me tougher while also replenishing my social energy. The new drink we just got. I'm all done with helping out now, but a drink that would be a real... Like, that would be a real game changer in case something like this happens again. Hmm, I don't think I have a recipe for that yet. But don't worry, I've already got an idea. Oh, we have a new one! A thousand! Yeah, because, like, why can't we just mix and match things, right? But even without such a drink, I'm sure people were very thankful for your presence. Well... They weren't mad about it, at least. Though, I sort of feel like people aren't really as concerned as I thought they'd be. When I saw the stars fall, I thought for sure the world was going to end. Yes, I recall. You were right about that. You were right that it wouldn't, of course. But I thought that people would be a little more freaked out by the lack of a night sky. Yeah, have we always had two moons? But everyone seems to be okay with it? Asked one of my sisters about it, and she said, Who cares? Some wide-eyed adventurer will surely put them back at some point. Let's worry about replanting these tomatoes. <laughs> oh god. I don't even know if you could put them back. You could never put back what's lost. You can always replace it with something new. I'm not sure that you can replace the stars, or if you should approach loss that way. It's all a matter of perspective. I wouldn't mind a bunch of trees in the night up in the night sky for a change. Right. But it would be it would still but it still would be much nicer if some things would just stay the same. They never do. Oh, poor fable. I'm just happy everyone is okay. Did you check on Lin yet? She should be hacking my terrace to pieces outside. I did, outside. On your definitely not hacked up terrace. Just out of curiosity, do you own any wood glue? Are they ruining my terrace? It was nice to see that she's okay too. I was a little worried she would just leave and never talk to me again. So it was nice watching her train Melly with so much enthusiasm, and to catch up a bit. That too. She tried to rope me into their greatsword training. <laughs> Did you accept? I'm not really a sword kind of elf, but it was fun to watch her teach Melly. She's very sweet. Indeed. And I was just relieved to see Carolyn doing alright. And she was relieved about Mr. Dragon. And about you, I'm sure. Maybe. Celebrate our well-being despite the absurdity of this world. How about a drink? I would love a drink. Can I have something agile and swift? I still have to make my way back home later. And I could use some speed for that. I'm sure I'll find just the right thing. Okay, so they don't want the new drink. 
they just want their usual. Okay. I want to make the new drink! Ugh. Swiftly and quickly, your favorite drink. Thank you. Your drinks are still the highlight of my day. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna sneeze. Trying not to sneeze. Nope. They make the best drinks, right? They're... okay. Really? Do you actually think that? Or is this a thing where you just don't want to be nice? People seem to do that a lot for some reason. I, um... They taste good. As good as things can taste when you're, um, me. Well said. Thank you. By the way, I completely forgot to introduce myself. I'm Fable. I'm, I'm an elf and a, a ranger, and I come here a lot. They are also an incredibly courageous and capable hero. That's not true. Not yet. Maybe they'll be the ones to put the stars back in the sky. Not yet. I'm working on it. Being a hero, I mean. Why? Because I dream of adventure and all the wonderfully exciting things it can bring. And I want to help people. Why? <laughs> Why not? I'm Malachite. Oh! You're Mal! I mean, Malachite, obviously. Mally, you just talked about a Mal. She said they, or I guess you, are very cool and her new friend. She sounded very happy about it. We're not friends. She just won't leave me alone. Oh, okay. Then why do you spend time with her if you don't like her? That sounds really mean. She keeps following me. And you take her along? Not by choice. Hmm. I don't know you well enough to judge that truth behind all the <laughs> judge the truth behind all this. But I think you should be honest. With her and with yourself. Honest honesty goes a long way. I also believe that things in Zoford could be fixed with honesty as well. You mean the missing familiar? I heard several familiars are missing, actually. And I believe, with so many mages and familiars present, someone is bound to know something. Ooh, ooh, a new rumor! But maybe they're just scared to face possible consequences for their honesty? Yes! Oh, man, okay, there are a lot of people in Zoford, someone is bound to know something about the missing familiars. What are they hiding? So we only have two. Sounds like Zoford is going through an eventful time. Thank you for letting me know. I'll keep an eye or two for future developments. Zoford isn't very far from here, is it? Not too far. It's an eastern fish, fish, fishoa, and is, to my knowledge, the biggest harbor town the Republic has to offer. I can only recommend its many summer festivals, very pretty fireworks. Why? Does it sound like something up your alley? No, not mine, but... Melina is seeking her first quest. Maybe this could be something for her. She needs to practice her skills outside of risk-free theory. Good idea. I'll see if I can reserve it for her. Sorry for asking, but first quest? I thought Melly just turned ten. Isn't that a bit young for quests? No. I was similar age when I ventured on my first quest. The one with the horrifying nightmare creatures? Yes. Oh, that's sad. No, that's cool. <laughs> no, I think it's a little sad. 
Children shouldn't have to face such danger that early. Why not? It's always there. Might as well confront them with it when they're young so they can accept its existence in their lives. That's an insane thing to say. Just because the world can be horrible doesn't mean we should confront children with that fact as early as we can. It's already bad enough that us grown-ups have to deal with it so much. Why should they just accept it if we can make the world a better place for them instead? I mean, when you were on a quest with and I quote, horrifying nightmare creatures, weren't you scared? Wouldn't you have preferred not to be alone? It builds character. A character that thinks we should put other kids in miserable situations? Sure, did a lot of good for you there. Oh my god, this is the most fable that's really talked about anything. Like, really, they're getting quite intense with it. Weren't your parents worried to death about you? You got enough rumors to make a quest yet, innkeeper? Not yet. Give me another day. People are so busy talking about or ignoring all that star debris, they're losing sight of the important things. Like feeding me new information. <laughs> Not very nutritious for you. No, but it's fun. It'd be cool if it was. In that case, the fun I can provide in a day is running out. Unfortunately, the horrors of this world do not stop chasing me nor anyone else. I shall take my leave. Good luck. See you around. With less horrors, I hope. Now I'm worried. About Malachite or Melly? Both. Are you really going to send her on that quest? If she wants to go. But I don't think you have to worry about it that much. Soford is a beautiful city with a very low crime rate. I think she can handle a couple of rowdy familiars. And I doubt she'd be going alone. I hope not. There's little worse than being alone when you're scared. Didn't you go on your first quest alone? Just like a few... Oh, I guess it technically didn't end on being alone. Very true. Are you scared of anything? Hmm. Bad Yelp reviews? <laughs> Yelp. I don't think you have to be scared of that. You make the drinks in you make the best drinks in all of Asteria. I think as long as you like my drinks, I'll be okay. You've got my five stars in the bag. I would ask what you're afraid of, but the answer would be everything. Is it? Yes, but I'm working on not letting my fear stop me. I might not be able to avoid feeling afraid, but I can always just do things when scared. Rather than not at all, maybe. That is still a terrifying thought. How do you handle situations you're afraid of? Hmm, I used to have a terrible habit of just walking away from the things that scared me, but... With the right people by your side, staying becomes less of a crushing weight on your shoulders. You realize that... Even if things aren't perfectly comfortable, they are still worth experiencing. That sounds lovely. I've never seen friends of yours around the tavern before. Maybe you should invite them over sometime? No, maybe you should invite them over sometime. Perhaps, though one of my friends is still is sti <laughs> though one of my friends is sitting here right now. Where where? Wait, are they invisible? Oh, you mean me. That's that makes me really happy. Also makes me feel pretty bad about having to go back home. Don't worry. Go home. Fix the many things that worry you. As long as you come back. Always. I'll see you tomorrow, Innkeeper. See you tomorrow, my friend. Well, that's the end of the day. I think we'll play through one more day. And then we'll stop there for this for the evening. Oh, it's raining! Act 2, Starlight Sonata. Scene 3, uh, not 3. Scene 8, New Horizons. It's the fourth of the astral moon. Oh, 
a new character. Good mythical morning. <laughs> How did they even get that line to pass? Like, I'm pretty sure. Doesn't Good Mythical Morning have that line, like, reserved or something? Oh my god. It's well past noon. It's still morning somewhere. Plus, a wizard doesn't care about things like time. Time's not only relative, but also flexible. Like a gummy worm. One time, I've actually tried breaking through the space-time continuum using a loophole through the primordial vortex. And did it work? No. But almost. I would have needed a drip of the primordial sea to enhance the curvature, and that should have done it. <laughs> Sorry, kids. But no access to the primordial sea. Bummer. I heard that's not very easy to get. Theo, theo practically it is. Theo practically? Practically in theory, duh. Ah, that makes sense. I get it. You do? Of course I do. Mm -hmm. Interesting. And suspicious. Are you, mayhaps, also a person of magic? Well, I do make magical drinks. Enchanted mixology. That indeed is a niche. Say, innkeeper, did something you make ever explode? Occasionally. Heck yeah! Welcome to the club! <laughs> I think I blew something up at least once or twice a week. I'm Hex, by the way. Nice to meet you, Hex. Nice to meet you, too. Just Innkeeper, for now. Alright, well then, Innkeeper, how about a super wheezy breezy drink for me? Any flavors you might fancy? Maybe something... Hmm, something that'll make me focus more. And perhaps help me better understand the primordial vortex? Gotcha. High intelligence. I believe that that's intelligence then. A sparkling nebula. Like we're we're putting in time and then heart. Cause this kind of looks like a heart. But like hot, I guess. I hope that's what it was. Hooray! This should boost your focus like nothing else. Amazing! I can already feel the ideas cooking up. I feel like there's a drink that will better suit him eventually. Like, theming-wise. I think you I think I figured out a way to get that primordial seawater, too. Never mind. The explanation would be too complex to grasp, so... So... What complex reason brings you to my tavern, Hex? Eh. Getting away from the other smartest person in Asteria. And who would that be? Doesn't matter. You tell me. My sister. She's studying and driving me crazy with all her theories. They're so reasonable, you know? No chaos, but there has to be a bit of chaos in everything, doesn't there? I wonder how she gets through life with so much structure. Structure is the key to everything, young lad. Without structure, there is no chaos, and thus, there'd be no entropy. I found entropy to be quite essential in this world. Is that why you're a literal skeleton? And you are... Oh, how rude of me. Top of the morning to you, lad. And to you. Innkeeper, is it? Correct. Nice to meet you. 
Nice to meet you too. I'm... Ah, I suppose you may call me Scully. My actual living name would be too ancient to be spoken out loud. I'm an archivist. At least I used to be. Now I'm dead. Somewhat. Not completely, obviously. Under my mysterious circumstances, I happen to be still conscious. So you're undead? Precisely. How? Well, I passed on, and then one day I rose from my grave. It was like a long sleep, completely knackered for thousands of years. At last, I, at least I believe it's been thousands of years. What year is it? 1755. Fuck, <laughs> that's brutally long. Though so how did you come back to life? <laughs> I'm not too sure myself. I woke up and walked on like nothing had happened. I thought to myself, might as well explore the world anew. Those who'd risen with me didn't seem to be inhabited by any independent consciousness. And alas, didn't care. Those who'd risen with you? There are more like you out there? Oh, more rumors about the undead. I think that that might actually cover up another one of our rumors. There are more like you out there? Of course, undead rarely rise alone. They mostly serve a master. Right. However, I decided not to bother with that and go my own way. Character information. Oh, we have Hex. Okay, half health. He, him. He's a wizard. Zena. Chaotic neutral. And he's from uh, the tower. And then, oh, Melly. She's a Vuka kid as well. So just like, um, just like Carolyn. Or Lynn. Uh, oh. Melly is Tan, she, her, Detective Zenith, Chaotic Good, and the Star. Uh, Melina might be a young, might be young, but she's re already an aspiring detective, and probably smarter than quite a few of my customers. She's a sweet and curious kid, despite her parents meeting an early tragic end. It's exceptionally hard not to like her, and it seems not even edgy rogues can resist her charm. I love her little face. Skelly, Skeleton, Unknown Age, He, Him, Archivist, Everbloom Archives, Chaotic Neutral, The Magician. Skelly is uh, a Mida and the personification of a jelly. Is a Mida? As well as... Isn't that what... No, that's a Seraphim. Oh, no. Jade is a Mida. So he's a Mida and the personification of a gentleman. And he is, well, dead. Or at least he was dead for quite some time before he rose again. But contrary to his fellow undead, he returned conscious. Scully, uh, going forth, I path, Going south, I passed through Zoherd and found a small little tavern. A bit like this one. More nautical in style. They had a lot of fish. I've never been a fan of seafood. Though, I got to listen to a lot of the town's gossip. Care to fill me in on that Zoford gossip? Well, apparently a known noble married with a commoner and decided to run off with her, leaving the family without an heir. But there's more. Fishermen fear that Zoford has been cursed by a sea witch. Ooh, they say that the docks are being haunted by lonely animals that stare blankly at the waves and the moon all night. <gasps> and during the day they disappear like ghosts. Bit of a weird curse for any sea witch or wild sailor's tale. Th those are the familiars! We got it! Zofrid's docks are a popular view oh. viewpoint for animals interested in the nighttime vista. Surely only a sea witch can be responsible for this. <laughs> Innkeeper say, do you have a drink for this undead fella? A drink? And a mop? Just a drink. I won't be needing a mop. If you say so, what would you like? Something that'll loosen up this non-existent non tongue. Something full of charm and appeal. Coming right up. So, pure charisma, huh? I believe that is of a spoken heart. Unless we're meant to be giving everybody a sunny breeze. Or a thousand wind. I believe it's mostly a spoken heart, isn't it? Oh, 
bards and rangers. Hmm. I think we'll do a sunny breeze. I hope that's correct. A real charmer just for you. Jolly, I feel like I can conquer worlds with my words alone. Oh? Not that I would ever do that. <laughs> I care more. <laughs> I'm so funny. Not that I would ever do that. I care more about words than wor than worlds. Archivist things, you know. I spent most of my life reading, sorting, and archiving. That didn't leave a lot of time for dreams of hubris. Are you sure? Academic hubris is a powerful one. Come on now, that type hardly counts. Agreed. It's only natural- Oh, I think you've given me an idea, Bone Man. I did? Yes, if I can enhance the aging process of cells, the incubation procedure could. All right, I gotta go. If my sister asks you if you see me, no, you didn't. Thanks, bye. All right, bye, Hex, I guess. Energetic young fella. Indeed. Ooh, I got his information. Hex is a very impulsive wizard who loves chaos and everything unreasonable. He is one of the two smartest people in all of Asteria, with the other being his sister, who seems to be his complete opposite. Thanks to him, I also learned a new word, theopractically. It means practically, in theory. If you don't mind, Innkeeper, I'd like to linger here a bit and enjoy the moment. Of course. Hey, Keep, How's it going? All fine and dandy. How about you, Fable? I'm still very busy helping the farmers rebuild their barns and fences. Also, apparently, a bunch have lost their crops due to, now, due to how hot the stars were. <gasps> oh, shit. It's terrible. Seeing all this destruction is terrible. I've never seen anything like this before, either. Historically, the Lady of the Gilded Sea never struck me as someone to unleash baneful omens. Uh... Apologies, my manners. It's impolite to burst into a conversation just like that. I'm Scully. Fable. Nice to meet you, Fable. Again, my apologies for the impulsivity. That's alright. I was just surprised you could actually talk... Oh, uh, no offense. I, I just thought, um, usually. None taken. Usually skeletons don't speak. Theopractically, they don't. Theopractically? Practically, in theory. Exceptions confirm the rule. You sound like a wizard. Please don't say that. <laughs> okay, let's pretend I didn't. Scully, how did you like their drinks? Surely an experience. I can feel it gurgling in my bones. <laughs> Sometimes they do that. Could you also make me a drink, Innkeeper? I don't want my bones to jiggle, but something that enhances my finesse would be nice. You know, you have to be very delicate with zucchini seeds, or they'll give up immediately. Of course, coming right up. <sighs> They're usual, as always. Swift strike. Try 
Father's feet. Strike, yay. <laughs> I don't know why I always question how I'm doing it until it's like finished. Oh, it stopped raining outside. I hope this tastes refined enough. This is perfect. You know just what I need, innkeeper. Of course I do, after all, you're my favorite regular. I I am? Yes. And you're my favorite innkeeper. Yes. Yay! <laughs> Fable is my favorite. Thank you, Fable. So, do you think your farm work will be done soon? Oh, I hope so. Not that I don't like helping them out, I do. But I think the sooner everyone can get back to a normal life, the better. Do you perhaps need a hand? I happen to have two. And I might know a thing or two about crops and fences. Sure. I could use some help carrying a few things over to Tra Tregaren. My tree house is just around the corner. Splendid. Sounds like quite useful. A quite... <laughs> like a quite useful endeavor. I'll, gl I'll gladly indulge. Thank you. Oh, look at that. Look at his little plush. His little skeleton plush. We're gonna, we're gonna forget that, like, skeletons can't blush because they have no blood. To blush with and we'll just we'll just assume in keep before we go I have something I wanted to give you what do you have for me fable some dried honey flowers the farmers yes more infusions the farmers didn't know how to thank me so they gave me these flowers and you're always so helpful and nice so I wanted to share them with you I'm sure you already have at least four ideas on how to use them Thank you very much, Fable. I'll make sure to put them to good use. Yes, honey flowers. Honey flower is, oh, swift strike and intelligence. Oh wow, they're sort of cute, and they are honey. They have a little honeycomb. Honey flowers used to be rare before adventurers introduced it to local farms. Now commonplace, everyone can be inspired by their sweetness. Grants you inspiration. Inspiration grants you the ability to extraordinarily motivate other people or persuade them to tell the truth. Is that what... Oh, Thunder Sage does the same thing. Except it does um, intelligence, whereas Honeyflower does charisma and dexterity. Interesting. So you accept donations for ingredients? Certainly. I can only get my hands on so many infusions myself. What about recipes themselves? <gasps> Another recipe? It's always good to get more inspiration. Wonderful. In my prior life, I had access to a lot of books about magic and potion mixing. I think I still recall my assistant's favorite recipe. First snow. Like the sun reflect. It's a... Uh, first snow. Like the sun reflecting off of a frozen lake, the first snow makes you feel comfortable and safe, embracing you in its frosty taste. In between hot chocolate and frozen glaciers, you'll find yourself well equi equipped to hide into the snowy mountains. To hike. To hike into the snowy mountains. That's so cute. So it gives you defense with a bit of agility and a bit of charisma. That's cool. I like how we're mixing things very well. There's a lot more uh, coverage, whereas these are kind of all triangular. Um, the rest of them are now really sort of like the next level of drinks, I think, right? All we need is a next level um, dexterity. How oh, cool. This one's close, though. First snow is pretty close. Do you store it under your hat? Of course. Where else would I keep it? Fair enough. Thank you for the recipe. Innkeeper, thanks for being such a patient and pleasant host. I shall be on my way then with Fable. 
but I'll be back, should I not crumble into a pile of bones from one day to the next. Let's hope not. I won't. I'm just I'm just joking around. I I hope I wouldn't want to be responsible for that. Anyways, innkeeper, thank you so much. You are still the highlight of my day, no matter how dark the night. Aw, cute. See you around. Let's go, Scully. No time to lose. What a bunch of cuties. Oh, now it's the afternoon. <gasps> the cape! Look at his cape! He looks so good! But I was able to witness such rarity in my lifetime. Immaculate. You wouldn't ever get excited about a rusty nail. Of course I would. Such a splendid chemical process. Metals have a variety of chemical processes. Rust be my least be my oh, rust be my least favorite of them. Rids a lot of hard work. Does it now? Yup. Makes everything porous. Oh. Kyle, Rhea, nice to see you both again. Right, is he gonna get rid of that slime ever? Likewise, dear innkeeper, how has your day been? Can't complain. I had some interesting customers today. Ah, oh, like that one distinguished gentleman who crossed us on our way in? Distinguished, yeah. Gentleman? Don't know. A giant top hat doesn't make you a gentleman. What makes you a gentleman? manners. He was quite polite, I recall. Greeted me with the tip of his hat. You find everyone polite, even your slime. But Mr. Slime is quite polite. What a peculiar wall plot you have there. I feel like I've seen it somewhere before. <laughs> it's, it's probably his. It looks, just like, it looks just like the clock of Evelyn's living room. It reminds me of all the times I impatiently waited for her to come home after important meetings and banquets. <laughs> Rhea's face there was so funny. Do you know if, it, if that is her clock by any chance? I think that might be a story for another time. Let's not worry about it now, shall we? Okay. Say, Inkeep, have you read that letter yet? That'd be a story I'd love to hear right now. Not yet, no tragic. I've always loved writing letters. I wonder if I can click on it. It appears I can't. In keep, you got a drink for me? Something that'll make me tougher. So I can get through today's blabbing. Of course. Tougher. Defense, defense. First snow. I guess first snow and frosted lagoon are sort of very similar, huh? I want to try this one. Looks like we might need something that pluses defense. Um, oh, well that won't do. Or maybe if it pluses these two first, it'll make way for us to do the rest? I hope this is right. Now that's what I'm talking about. A gift of the, dra of the great dragons. Well, thank you. I gave it my best. Can taste that? I feel sturdier already. I have my doubts about you and Keith, but I must say, you're, you know your job. 
So, how has the day been for you two? The usual. Splendid. It was my first day of centuries out under the rays of the sun. And how did you like it? It's brighter than I thought. The light of the sun, I mean. Rhea and I took a day trip to the capital since I rarely get to see it in full daily life. Full of daily life. There were so many people. Too many. Just the right amount for a city. It was so vivid, it almost made me feel alive. And everyone was able to admire my beautiful cape. <laughs> is that the cape? The cape of invisibility? It absolutely is. How curious. Does that mean you two are going to Barovia now? Huh? Why would we want to go there? That was the deal. I helped you get your cape. So you can attend that fancy Barovian vampire banquet and I get the gold's worth. Oh, but I got that invitation about 500 years ago. Didn't mention, didn't I mention that? No. What about my material then? Well, I can give you the gold right now if you want. Can you accompany me a while longer though? Ugh, fine. Oh, wonderful. Every second I spend with you brings me tremendous joy. What a great day to be a vampire. I've got my cake back, and I can walk on in the sun like mortals do. Say, innkeeper, what if you thought of a new what if you thought of a new drink? One that would taste just as incredible as the gentle and welcoming beams of sunlight of <laughs> and welcoming sun beams of sunlight feel on your skin. That's kind of a vague description. But I think I might have something in mind already. Pink sunrise. Intelligence. Which we already have. I guess we don't have an upgrade in intelligence one. Pink sunrise is a sweet drink that feels quite like standing on a tall mountain's peak. While this drink focuses on intelligence, adventurers may feel infused with the confidence and agility it takes to climb their favorite mountain range, unsurprisingly popular with climbers and boulderers. Ah, oh, wonderful. Well, Ray is pissed. I wonder if my dear Evelyn would desire to walk in sunlight as well. Do you know how she is doing? Do you think I could pay her a visit? You shouldn't. I should. The air smells like reconciliation. Do you think that's a good idea? It ain't. It is. Kyle, you stolen her, uh, your cape. Do you think she'll greet you with open arms? You know what I'll do, I'd do if my ex-husband stole me hammer? What? Take it and smash all he holds dear. No one, no one takes what's mine. But the cape is mine. Is she of the same opinion, you think? Oh. Maybe you're right. It would be a shame to lose my cape again. All she'd have to do is ask, Oh, my undead Evelyn. There has, n there has never been a wish of hers I turned down. And I wouldn't to, and I wouldn't to this day. I don't want to have whatever you have with her. I lose my mind. Well, yeah, I know. Oh, how much I miss her. My heart is aching. If that's all. Maybe one day. Oh. <laughs> That's awesome. Maybe one day she'll reach out to me. I still miss her dearly. And I shall miss her ever more looking toward the mountain's peak, knowing she's merely a gasp away. Maybe a drink could help for now. Oh, we got more character information from Kyle. The curse of being a vampire is outliving pretty much anyone you've ever, you'll ever meet. So it's not surprising that Kyle seems to fight with abandonment issues. He has seen a few people die of old age after all. Um, nevertheless, he is still very attentive to others, perhaps to cherish the time he has left with them. Oh. Oh, would you do that? A drink for me? Oh, I accidentally did the Irish accent. Of course. Something strong, please, dear innkeeper, so that my heart may stop, stop aching soon. They want strength. What's our strength one? Our sailor's courage. Oh, 
but no common sense. Yeah, let's fill him up. <laughs> oh, shit. I think we need something that will cover our bases. Oh, yes. That will be nice and... Yes, this will be fine. Yeah, I don't think that's gonna work. It's the double minus I didn't see. Okay, maybe if I do this one instead. Then I'll need two of that. We've already covered this, so then we only need one of you. Uh, Southern Brawler would be covered, but we need... Sailor's Courage. I can't mend your broken heart, but I- but her, perhaps this helps. It does. Thank you, dear innkeeper. Why don't you tell the innkeeper more about your day, hmm? Right. I suppose it wasn't done yet. Where was I? Your trip to the capital. Busy streets bustling with people. Roots. Roots? Roots. <laughs> We admired the roots that enclosed the city, almost like a rampart. I finally had the chance to take a closer look. Quite fascinating. For once, it got angry. Almost made me believe the myths are true. Well, I guess that's what all the little roots of the tree in the background are. Myths? Myths, I've told you. Rumor has that these are the roots of the Aether tree. Breaking through the surface and taken hold of Gaia, where they guard the capital. The capital. Rumor unlocked. With the cool S. The capital is wrapped in roots protected by the divine. According to a myth as ancient as time, these are the roots of the Aether Tree. Ah, yes, a very good defense plan indeed. What is wood going to do to protect a city? A city is protected with stone. Oh. I was never very involved in fortification efforts. I figure. <laughs> oh. Oh. We also met the lovely Seraph again. How are her investigations coming along? Very well. She seems eager and determined. A detective spirit. I believe the last made her way to Dolwell. She seems to be onto something. can't wait to hear the story when she returns. Likewise. Say, Rhea, can we go to town to check out the antiques dealer? Wait, why? <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> I want to see if I can find any keepsakes from the old times. Very well, then. But you won't munch on the shop keep, will you? Of course not. I'm well satiated for the innkeeper's creation. All right, then. Let's go. Goodbye, innkeep. Enjoy your shopping spree. Oh, my new character. Oh, with two dogs. Well, that adventure. Do my eyes deceive me? Minthy of the flesh. Hello, darling innkeeper. It's good to see you again. Oh my gosh, she's so pretty. Why is everybody so pretty? I want to dress up like her. I wonder if I could cosplay this. The tattoos would be hard, though. But you could pre-draw them on a bodysuit. Or you could do um, the printable temporary tattoos. <gasps> would love that. It certainly has been a while. Must be hitting that 15-year mark, right? 
It'll be 25 years soon, actually. Ah, you know how I am when it comes to keeping track of time spans longer than a decade. I'm well aware. Good that you have me to drop in from time to time to remind you, huh? <laughs> I couldn't be more grateful. Especially when you bring Casket and Kane along. <sighs> you know, I love them. Do cute service beasts still get a discount here? Always. So, what's brought you back to the area? It's not your usual haunt. No, I generally prefer something more... Moist? Ha! <laughs> no, not the word I'd have used. But something akin to that. It's decidedly too arid around these parts for my taste. And here, I thought I would get, in get to it at least enjoy the recent downpour, but no. The stuff that came pouring down was unique. That's one way to put it. Destructive is another, and possibly more accurate. But I'm glad to see that your tavern hasn't suffered the same fate as many of the streets and buildings I saw on my way here. Admittedly, the journey was already quite challenging to navigate with my wheelchair before. Oh, is, it? is there a wheelchair? Uh, though the scenery has always been worth the struggle. But now... Minthi. Minthi. Why does that sound familiar? I'm afraid it wasn't possible to take in much enjoyment from the passing landscape. I feel like she's part of Greek myth. Or that's just myth. It might be. I'm afraid it was possible to take in much enjoyment from the passing landscape. Not when I had to pay so much attention to not endanger, to not endanger myself and my sweet service beast. Oh, is he a two-headed dog? Is it just one, and he has two heads? I've told- you've told me your struggles with traveling before. I'm sorry to hear that recent events have made it worse. Oh well, we're here now, aren't we? And I do have to say, using the primordial vortex as a way to skip your veranda stairs <laughs> is a marvelous accessibility touch. Quite the impressive work, my friend. I'm glad to hear that. My little spells are doing their job. I hope the cities will put similar care into rebuilding the streets. Oh, so I guess instead of having to use the front door, people can use our little primordial vortex to enter. That's pretty cute. Bladder cobblestones would do wonders for many people like me. But believe it or not, I didn't come all this way to talk about the, de the development of inclusivity in urban infrastructure. <laughs> no, really? <laughs> Shocking, right? I'm here on the hunt, one could say. What do you have your eyes on? Protection pearls. I've heard a few hushed whispers in my library. Folks say the pearls appear in the lonesome lagoon this time of year. Ah, those again. Good hunting, then. Thank you. Though, while the pearls might be my main objective, I haven't decided to come to town with only a singular purpose. I need to ask you for something, innkeeper. A good drink? No. My manuscript, darling. <sighs> my god, is this our ex-girlfriend? I believe twenty-five years should have been enough time to proofread it, yes? Ah, of course. I finished devouring the manuscript almost as soon as you gave it to me. It just took me a while to recall doing so, you see. Since it's been so long since I definitely got done with that. Lovely. I'm glad I have such a reliable old friend to proofread my work. <laughs> Shit. Would you like a drink while I try to engage my brain cells and remember where I put it? If you're offering, I'd be pleased to accept. Perhaps something to refresh my mind after my journey? I'll do my best. Okay, intelligence. Intelligence. Ah, the new pink sunrise. Let us give it a shot. I think 
we could do the honey sweet one. That might that might actually work. And then she gets inspiration. There we go. Pretty cool, this little line effect. Okay. I thought I was right. Oh, it fits her. I thought very hard about making the perfect drink for you. Ah, I've missed this. Good to see your mixing skills haven't diminished one bit. In fact, I think I might be coming up with a new idea for a new story. Yes. Let me note this down really quick. Take your time. So, while I enjoy your mixology, no matter what you put in front of me, I'd enjoy it even more if you could recall the location of my very precious manuscript. You know, the one I lovingly worked away at for almost half a century whilst my library came to be. Certainly. It should be just below this pile. No, wait. I must have put it over here. Over there, actually. All right. Given this ongoing battle with your organizational habits, it might take you a bit longer to recover it. And I have some pearls to get to. So how about this? I'll return in around seven days, and then I can tell you all about my pearl hunt in exchange for my manuscript. My proofread manuscript. Oh god. That would be helpful. Good. It was nice seeing your weary face again, Innkeeper. Likewise, Finkley. Have a safe pearl <laughs> and pearl full journey. Ha, I'll try. Seven days should be enough to read a manuscript, right? <laughs> <laughs> okay, here we go. There we go. A scandal in Zofern. The lively port city of Zofern is known not only for its docks, but also for its large community of mages. Lately, there seems to be something mysterious going on there. The familiars of several archmages have gone missing and are nowhere to be found. But it's a big city. There must be someone who knows something. Could their disappearance be related to the tale of the sea witch who cursed Zofern's docks? Oh, look at the little familiar little pictures. Oh, there's a picture of, um, of corruption. <laughs> cute. How cute. I love that. All right. That's the end of the day. And I would also say, uh, the end of our time today as well. Okay. <laughs> it's a bit of a short one. Um, it's a Wednesday. Um, I'm not going to bore you too much today with any closers. Um, unfortunately, also no raids because nobody I know is raiding at the moment and I like to send uh, my audience to people who I'm familiar with so I know that they're getting good entertainment after me. Um, other than that, uh, we have passed 40 followers, of course, and that means that we're 10 away from affiliate, and being 10 away from affiliate also means that I have to go design my emotes. So, if you have joined our Discord, or are hoping to join our Discord, I'll put a link down below so that you guys can um, join us and vote on our future chat emojis. Anyway, I will see you guys tomorrow for the anniversary of me being unemployed <laughs> um, and where we will be playing American Truck Simulator and I will be talking about my um, experience in the freight industry. <laughs> Not very much part of my niche, but it should be fun and interesting and a little insane regardless. So I will see you then.
Bye.